It was so unfair, Harry opened his mouth to argue, but Ron kicked him behind their cauldron. Don't push it, he muttered. I've heard Snape can turn very nasty. As they climbed the steps out of the dungeon an hour later, Harry's mind was racing and his spirits were low. He'd lost two points for Gryffindor in his very first week. Why did Snape hate him so much? Cheer up, said Ron. Snape's always taking points from Fred and George. Can I come and meet Hagrid with you? At five to three, they left the castle and made their way across the grounds. Hagrid lived in a small wooden house on the edge of the Forbidden Forest. A crossbow and a pair of galoshes were outside the front door. When Harry knocked, they heard a frantic scrabbling inside and several booming barks. Then Hagrid's voice rang out, back, bang, back. Hagrid's hairy face appeared on a crock as he pulled through the door. Hang on, back thing. He let them in, struggling to keep hold of the co collar of an enormous black boar hound. There was only one room inside. Hams and pheasants were hanging from the ceiling. A copper kettle was boiling on the open fire, and in the corner stood a massive bed with patchwork quilt over it. Make yourselves at home, said Hagrid, letting go of Fang, who was bounded straight at Ron and started licking his ears. Here's a picture of Hagrid's little house. Like Hagrid, Fang was clearly not as fierce as he looked. And this is Ron, Harry told Hagrid, who was pouring boiling water into a large teapot and putting rocks into a plate. Another Weasley, said Hagrid. I spent half my life chasing your twin brothers away from my forest. The rock cakes almost broke their teeth, but Harry and Ron pretended to be enjoying them as they told Hagrid all about their first lessons. Fang rested his head on Harry's knee and drooled all over his robes. Harry and Ron were delighted to hear Hagrid call Filch that old git. And as for that cat, Mrs. Norris, I'd like to introduce her to Fang sometime. Do you know, every time I get up to the school, she follows me everywhere. Can't get rid of her. Filch puts her up to it. Harry told Hagrid about Snape's lesson. Hagrid, like Ron, told Harry not to worry about it. That Snape liked hardly any of the students. Well, yeah, but he really seemed to hate me. <laughs> Rubbish, said Hagrid. Why should he? Yet Harry couldn't help thinking that Hagrid didn't quite meet his eyes when he said that. How's your brother Charlie? Hagrid asked Ron. I liked him a lot. Great with animals. Harry wondered if Hagrid had changed the subject on purpose. While well, Ron told Hagrid all about Charlie's work with dragons, Harry picked up a piece of paper that was lying on the table under the tea cozy. It was cutting from the t Daily Prophet. Gringotts break in latest. Investigations continue into the break-in at Gringotts on the 31st of July, widely believed to be the work of dark wizards or witches unknown. Gringotts goblins today insisted that nothing had been taken. The vault was searched. that was searched had indeed been emptied that same day. But we're not telling you what was in there, so keep your noses out of it if you know what's good for you, said Gringotts Spokes Goblin this afternoon. Harry remembered Ron telling him on the train that somebody had tried to rob Gringotts, but Ron hadn't mentioned the date. Hagrid, said Harry, that Gringotts break-in happened on my birthday. It might have been happening while we were there. There was no doubt about it. Hagrid definitely did not meet Harry's eyes this time. He grunted and offered him another rock cake. Harry read the story again. The vault that was searched had in fact been emptied earlier that day. Hagrid had emptied the vault 713, if you could call it emptying, taking out the grubby little package. Had that been what the thieves were looking for? As Harry and Ron walked back to the castle for dinner, their pockets weighed down with rock cakes they had been too polite to refuse, Harry thought that none of the lessons he had so far had given him had much to think about, about as the tea with Hagrid. Had Hagrid collected the package just in time? Where was it now? And did Hagrid know something about Snake that he did not want to tell Harry? All right, that's the end of chapter eight. We will continue.